Hello, Tights TV, Neil Ellis here. How are we all doing? Ready for weekend, ready for game on Saturday. A uh, new concept, what I'm going to be doing. So, just want to give a shout out to Cars Construction, Brown Bear Comedy Club, Bounceye.com, NK Promotions and Box Fit, uh, HC Plumbing Limited, Up and Down Fanzine, uh, Dog's Choice, uh, Dog Food, Linda Road Fisheries, and Toma Patrons. Uh, David Warwick, Richard Deakin, Andy Windard, Jed Sharp, and Judge Hughes uh, makes things like this possible. New concept I'm trying, uh, just trying something different. And it's we predicted, or my predicted, starting 11th of the weekend game. So we'll get right into it. And uh, like I say, it's things in progress. So uh, something I'm just going to be working on. So I hope you enjoy. So, Bounds predicted starting 11. Uh, this is my predictions. Again, leave your comments below. We'll get around to that in a minute. Uh, Saturday, 24 August against Wickham Wanderers. So, again, it's going to be, a, a, you know, someone like Brad Collins. Uh, formation, I'll leave formation there so we can see roughly what I think it might or might not uh, happen. But I think Brad Collins, after performance against... Um, Tuesday against Bristol Rovers. I can't see there being many changes, if any changes at all. And I might elaborate on odd one or two, which I think, but I think we all know that Brad will be number one. Jordan Williams again. More or less speaks for his sense, scored a goal. Confidence is via. So why disrupt out? And I, I think apart from Will Under Mark or maybe Conor McCartney. You might play in that role until we get something sorted out of transfer window. So, again, for me, Jordan Williams plays in that right wing back role. Going to defence, uh, central defence, middle at defence, captain as well, Mads Anderson. I think we'll just keep him as it is. Um, he's not what's going to change there apart from any niggles at all. Robbie Cundy, I'm a bit undecided with Robbie. Uh, he had, I thought he had a, a steady game, an improved game. I was undecided whether he'd. Uh, Change changing for Connor, you know, um, at back or whether to keep it same, but that'd be one of my maybe suggestions. I think, but I, you know, I'd like to think he's going to be going to the same game, which would be a rarity as well. Going to the same game with an un, un, unchanged starting 11, not happened that much. Lean Kitchen, I think he'll play left of the defense to link up with uh, on left wing back role. Uh, again, steady improvements. From the performance against Bristol Rovers. So, would you agree or disagree with that back back three? Um, I think we'll be playing back formation because he tends to like that. And I'll come, I'll come to something to back formation and make what I noticed or tend to notice a bit. Uh, I don't know if anybody else will uh, want to comment on that. So, back, you know, goalkeeper and back three, would you more or less keep it as that? Or would you, you know, replace uh, Cundy for McCartney? You know, would there be any others there? I think he made more or less that. Callum Styles, left wing back. Again, I think if Nicky Cadden's not uh, fit and not right for game, I think he'd be he'd be playing left wing back role, Callum. Again, it was the Callum Styles of old, what we saw previously under Valen Ishmael. I think that's his best position is in a balance shirt, if I'm being honest. A uh, few might say no, he's better in mid. But for me, I, I think his best position is left wing back role, and I think we can get more out of him. So if you're looking at formation via, you've got your three, you know, centre backs and your two wing backs, right wing backs, what you want to call them, left wing backs. For me, at times, I noticed in parts of the game, not all the time, but now and again, is that Liam Kitchen went left wing back, and it was like playing a two at back. We're allowing Callum to link up in midfield and bump down that bit. And then when it needed to be, dropped back and went back to a, a three at back again. So again, is that that flexibility? Is it, uh, I think, what, what's been worked on? If Callum goes down, you all move over one. And Liam Kitchen more or less fills that role via two at back. Again, it all depends on opposition we're playing as well. You're not going to go full gun or, but when there's chance for you, and it's linking up, you know, if Callum Sands linking up well with midfield, or getting dark wings to get uh, balls in box, then yeah, it gets to kind of an attacking formation. It gets to be like a, a two for 
uh, you know, uh, to a back and a to a uh, wing back. But again, you know, guys might agree, disagree. You might want to see someone else here. But for me, I think the back line is more or less settled. Benson, need to send him more. I mean, lads on a, a golden streak at minute three and last three. Confidence is absolutely through the roof. Is just getting better and better each game that goes on. I've said it before in other videos. I think Duff's getting the tune out in him. He knows the player what, you know, he had it barely under 23s in, you know, in set up there. So for me, I think it's all ticket boxes and I can only see it getting better, uh, an improvement. Uh, if he has odd, you know, bad game or not a, an eight or nine out of ten, he has a seven, seven, and eight, eight, then he's not bad, bad a, a game considering to where they were last season. Luke Thomas, I've been playing Luke. Possibly, I mean, you know, you know, we'll get to midfield in a minute. I'll be playing Luke Thomas just behind the front two, uh, in formation where I've got Via driving forward. He's, he's like that attacking option with his Benson. I think he's like a more or less box and box and all of it, uh, shop kind of midfielder. And finishing is Luke Connell again. Luke came in summer pre season, I think he's been a, an excellent signing. I know a really, really good find. Where it unbelievable, he's dropping deep, trying to get balls, wanting ball to get things going, get get things started in play. Again, some people might say replace probably Luca Connolly Wolf for that centre role, or would you keep it as is? For me, I'd like it as that, but again, it all depends if Brandon Eagles at all got picked up in the uh, midweek game against Bristol Rovers. But for me, I'd have that kind of formation. Now, whether it's going to be rotated round where Benson might go further forward and Thomas drop deeper back, I don't know. But for me, I think it looks a, a decent, confident setup in midfield. Uh, everybody's buzzing at the minute. Front two, this is going to be a bit of a, a conundrum, this. And like I say, it's all about opinions. Uh, have your saying comments below. I'm going with Devante Cole. Granted, when I saw him on squishy, uh, sorry, when I saw him on team sheet against Pistol Rovers, then he scored. I'm like, yeah, do you know what? He might need that bit of a running side to get some confidence back. Because it was a well taken goal, you know, cute angle in uh, bad conditions. So for me, does Michael Duff say, no, go on, see if he can do it again, replicate it again? Could we get another, you know, bit of a streak on like Benson, three, last three? Get a little bit of confidence and momentum going forward. It's all about confidence and progression. And if you're going to be in and out of the side, you're not going to get that back consistency. So for me, Devante Cole, um, this this uh, striking situation, we all know that we need striking sort of a Jack Aitchison. And again, there's been some chances and he's not been converted, but again, his work rate, you can't fault that. But if chances keep coming and we keep going begging, sooner or later, something's got to be said. I would consider a, a, a decent running, well, I said decent running, he's had a couple of games like now in, in uh team. Work rate, work effort, you can't fault. I'm not knocking back one bit. One bit, I'm not knocking back. Closing down, I press an eye tempo. Like I say, not knocking it. It's just the conversion rate, and sometimes with his final decision in last third, I'd like to see him, especially in the game against Bristol Rovers with conditions, ever short, ever, ever, ever ping, ever. You know, you never know what's going to go in. You never know what's going to go in. But it seems to be that when he gets there, it's a bit rushed, a bit hesitant sometimes. I have a feeling as he'll be starting tomorrow. But for me, I'd like to see Aidan Marsh give a go because when he's come on, is also and bustled and just change it. But I think we it being a a team that won, the work rate and got high praise for the performance. You know, everything would be a clean sheet, three goals. Would you be changing that? Would you be changing eleven, barring injuries? Personally, I, like I said, apart from Aitchison and Kundi, 
you could see possible changes. Wrestling, it picks his side, apart from Styles. Obviously, you know, if Nicky Cadden's, you know, is back or fit, would Cadden be on bench? Would he be 100% fit? Or would he be not fit enough to go on bench? So, again, that's my predicted starting 11. Um, it might have been a bit different if we'd, have, if we'd have lost or drew against Bristol Rovers, but I think we had been um, a win and a clean sheet. I think it more or less picks it then. Again, let me know your thoughts. Um, Vans v Wickham, your start 11. Have your say in comments below. And again, it's all about opinions. And if you, you know, if you go for a, a certain player, explain the reason why. You know, I'd put you know, McCartney at bat instead of Cundy because of X, Y, Z, or because you've got to, like, try and justify why you would think it could go in via, like, Aidan Marsh. I think Aidan Marsh deserves a, a start, a go. He's looked lively. No reflection on Dak H. Sim, but a couple of, uh, last few games have been a couple of decisions or a couple of hesitancy in final third. We have thought mm, it could have been converted and put away. But, it's all about opinions. I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, knocking his work rate on like that. But goals win games. I think we all can agree. So yeah, oh, you like that uh, short clip? Again, it's just a quick rundown on my predictions. Let me hear your uh, thoughts and predictions. I do appreciate it. Um, everyone here, when you do reply, one thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>